Today we're painting a watercolor galaxy. You will need watercolor paint, watercolor paper, water, a paintbrush, masking tape, white gouache and a toothbrush, or a white gel pen. You're going to start by, paint, by taping off your paper. This prevents the paper from warping. Now I'm adding water to the paper. This allows the paint to flow more freely and blend nicely as you work. I paused during this process to start adding water to my watercolors. This will get the paint nice and reactivated and ready to work with. And now I'm going back to painting water on the surface. Now I'm going to start adding in little drops of, of color. I'm using Kiritake Indigo right now. Just add in little drops and let it spread throughout the water. For the most part, you're going to want the darker colors around the edge and the lighter colors towards the center. It just it looks a little nicer like that in a galaxy watercolor. I also prefer mine to be more monochromatic. So this one is going to be all colors of blues and grays. Right now I'm adding in French Ultramarine. It's a Daniel Smith watercolor and so it'll granulate a little bit when it dries and create a really nice effect. Now I'm adding in Payne's Gray and I prefer Payne's Gray to black because it's a little softer but it still adds a dark tone. Just add it here and there, layering the color until you get uh, results that you like. Make sure you're filling in all the white spots. I'm trying to leave the center pretty white and open so that I can create a really cool effect in the center. It, it looks more like it's glowing and it adds a lot of depth. Just kind of blend as you go and add more colors. Keep the lines nice and loose. Keep with organic shapes, no straight lines allowed. I'm adding some watered down ultramarine blue to the center just a little bit, uh, just to add some color to the metal. And I'm kind of dabbing it out to create kind of a blurred effect. You can see a little bit of this, the paint remains in those spots, but it's it'll create a nice layered effect when it's finished. I'm adding in more indigo just to make some darker spots. It's really hard to not get carried away with this process because it looks like you could just keep going forever. So you just keep adding color until you're finished and just keep in mind it will dry lighter. You're gonna be adding a second coat which will make everything pop more and it creates a lot of depth and layers and really looks cool with the second coat.
Now I'm adding some Daniel Smith Moon Glow. It's a really cool like purpley gray color. It's a pretty much perfect for a galaxy painting. I'm adding a little bit of color to the center and removing it again. I want the hint of color, but not really color. So I don't want like the straight water, watercolor paper background. I want a little bit of color and this allows it to stain it a little bit, but still keep it really light and bright. If you make mistakes, you can also remove it using a paper towel. You just get it wet and blot it until it's dry. Some colors will stain, so it doesn't work with all the colors. So now I'm adding salt, and I kind of regret this choice, but it was a fun thing to play with. You use sea salt and just sprinkle it on. I would go lighter where the salt dries it creates little uh, white spots as you can see this is all this is after it dried and now i'm removing all the salt from the edges and see all those cool white spots they'll they'll still show up even when you add a second layer of paint and they kind of add glowy like star glowing spots it's kind of cool so I'm adding more indigo paint, really concentrated around the edge this time, more French ultramarine. Trying to make that center spot a little less perfect, I guess, and add a little bit of color. And you just paint the second layer until you're happy. It's still not really going to look like a galaxy when you're done until you start adding the stars. But just this, you will need two layers of paint for it to look nice and deep and full of nice texture and stuff. And so here I'm adding a little bit of Naples yellow to that center just to make it glow a little bit. And I'm adding just the tiniest bit of opera pink. It just blends in and creates almost a purple. It almost doesn't even show up in the finished picture, but it just creates a little more depth. I really love how it added, added so much. And you wouldn't think to add pink, but it just makes it glow. And so now I'm letting it dry again. And sadly, my camera did not capture me finishing this. So I had to start a third one because this blue one was my second one. My first one's in my blog post. So this is my third one. It's a pastel version. I was thinking of my daughter when I made it. She's super into pastels. And so I'm adding white gouache to a sheet of palette paper with some water. And this is the Holbein Permanent White Gouache. I'm adding a little bit of water with a paintbrush just to thin it out because gouache is really thick. You could also use acrylic paint that's watered down or white ink. And so I'm using a toothbrush and we're going to use it to flick paint on the, sur on the surface. It creates a really cool splattered starry effect that you just, you can't replicate using a paintbrush. And the stars are nice, perfect little spots. It's just really random and I love how it turns out. You can also use a white gel pen. This is the Unaball Signo pen, and it is just the best white gel pen. And you can just start dot, dotting it for little stars. It's really opaque and shows up really nice over the watercolor paint.
and you can draw little dashes for like a shooting star or you can even draw in little like starburst kind of shapes for stars. It doesn't look quite as realistic then but it's a cool effect. So then you can remove the tape and this is the most satisfying part. And if you peel at an angle very close to your table you won't rip the paper. love those crisp edges. And here's how it turned out. Look at those tiny little stars. They are perfect. Love that effect so much. And here's the blue one. And here's my first one that's purple and pink and it's on my blog post which is linked down below. For more art tutorials make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching!